Hello, welcome to Abundance Chemistry Bookshelf, where books are fun. The boy with the magic pajamas. Stan's uncle Eric was an explorer. He went all over the world discovering things, and he always brought Stan something strange and wonderful from his adventure. Stan couldn't wait to be an explorer too. Whenever his uncle came to stay, Stan would beg. I want to come with you. But Uncle Eric would just laugh and say, "Not today, Stan." Until one day, Stan was getting ready for bed when he heard his uncle's booming voice. He raced downstairs and jumped into his arms. "Slow down, young man," laughed Uncle Eric. "What have you got? What have you got?" Stan cried. Uncle Eric smiled and reached into his battered old rucksack. "I've got a very special present for you," he said, and he handed Stan something small and crumpled. "Oh," said Stan. "It didn't look very exciting." "What is it?" "Pajamas," Uncle Eric said. "Pajamas?" mumbled Stan, disappointed. They don't look very special. That's because you're not looking hard enough," whispered Eric with a twinkle. "Thanks," said Stan quietly and kissed his uncle on the cheek. Then he went slowly up the stairs. "I'm not putting them on." He grumbled to himself. They are the rubbishest present ever. But then he thought about what Uncle Eric had said. Stan looked a bit closer at the pajamas and saw that they were covered in pictures. One was a boy on a magic carpet. One was a rocket. Another was a pirate ship. Maybe I will wear them just for a bit. He decided. Stan clambered into bed. The pajamas were warm and soft. Soon he started to feel sleepy. Suddenly, he heard a whooshing sound. A warm wind was blowing against his cheek, and it felt like he was moving really fast. Stan sat up and looked around. The ground was far below him. He was flying on a magic carpet. And gripped the sides of the carpet and yelled, "Help!" Don't worry," said a voice. "You'll get used to it in a minute." It was Uncle Eric. He was whizzing along beside him on the carpet of his own. What's happening? Squealed Stan. We are exploring," shouted Uncle Eric. Stan took a deep breath and peered over the sides. Beneath him were waves of sand. Far in the distance, a golden temple was lit up against the moon. Whoa! cried Stan as the two magic carpets swooped down towards the ground. Pull up! yelled Uncle Eric, but it was too late. Stan landed headfirst in a huge dune. Splat! Nice landing," <laughs> chuckled Eric, pulling Stan out by his feet. "Ouch!" squealed Stan. "There's something hard in the sand." Uncle Eric dug down and pulled out a grubby bottle with a crock stopper pushed into the end. The glass was cracked where Stan had crashed into it. Now you have done it," whispered Uncle Eric. The gas started to thicken and change shape until there was an enormous green man floating above them. "I'm the genie of the bottle," thundered the green man, looking straight at Stan. "You have set me free. I grant you three wishes." 
Stan looked at Uncle Eric, his eyes wide. Can I really wish for anything at all? he asked. Of course, smiled Uncle Eric, but choose carefully. Stan thought hard, but his tummy was rumbling and he couldn't concentrate. I wish we had something to eat, he blurted out. Instantly, a huge feast was laid out before them. There was smoked meat, sumptuous fruit, and sweet treats dusted with sugar. Oops, said Stan. I didn't mean to wish that. But the food was so delicious that they both tucked in, and soon they forgot all about the genie floating above them. That was amazing! sighed Stan. Brushing the sugar from his lips. Drink! Suddenly, a silver flagon of lemonade appeared in front of him. Oh no! squealed Stan. I wasted another wish! You have only one left, boomed the genie. Think carefully. I wish, said Stan slowly. I could go with Uncle Eric on all his adventures. Your wish is my command, said the genie. Just look hard enough and you can have all the adventures you like. With that, the genie disappeared in a cloud of smoke. Stan blinked and rubbed his eyes. When he opened them again, he was back at home at his own bed. That was incredible, he whispered, but Stan was puzzled. He couldn't figure out what the genie had meant. Look hard enough at what? He was still thinking about it, when at last he fell asleep. The next morning, Stan ran straight downstairs and found his uncle packing to go. Did we really fly on magic carpets last night? asked Stan. But Uncle Eric just smiled. Then he gave him a great big hug. Take care, Stan. I will see you soon. When he had gone, Stan sat on the sofa feeling glum. He looked down at his pyjamas. Then he blinked and looked again. That's me, he gasped. The picture of the boy on the magic carpet, it was Stan. Stan looked closer. He was on all of the pictures. There he was in the rocket and there he was in the pirate ship. That's what the genie had meant. The pyjamas were magic. Stan could use them to go with Uncle Eric on all his adventures. Wow! Stan whispered. I wonder where we'll go exploring tonight. The end! Subscribe for new books read aloud every week. Thanks for watching and keep supporting my channel. See you all again in my next video.